how much we agree on. But the day before, Secretary Clinton had also spoken at the Global Initiative, and as she talked about foreign, uh, foreign aid and should going forward, she also talked about a larger role for the private sector and how the State Department and USAID are working with the private sector. And then, of course, the next day, Governor Romney came in and talked about the private sector, and I thought, okay, we got this one. Whatever happens next, we are going in the right direction. I would say, look again at the record, look at the many ways we have found going through the State Department, going through USAID, going through, again, smaller version compacts, not necessarily country to country treaties, but look at the agreements that have been made to increase imports, to increase training and facilitate imports and exports back and forth. Look at the Exim Bank, the record of the Exim Bank over the last three years. Look at the record of, of OPEC, Overseas Private Investment Corporation. So again, we are totally committed to that. And I think it's a record to feel good about. What do you expect from This uh, debate, yeah, 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 in terms of style and substance, uh, foreign policy has has always called for, for all participants to be at their best behavior, so to speak. I think that we talk about uh, becoming the commander-in-chief of our country, the leader of the free world. Uh, we're have both uh, candidates, hopefully, will rise to, to the level that the occasion calls for. Right? I'll see Mitt Romney as a measure of leader, as someone who will speak about our general policies, our, our policies and engagement in the world. Uh, he will be, uh, obviously, uh, he'll distinguish himself in, in, in terms of believing that our country needs to take more of an initiative uh, rather than, uh, than, than delay our, 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 our leadership in places like Syria and others where we think that we've, we've lacked in that time frame that's required of a world leader. I think, frankly, that, that uh, our role in, in Afghanistan and, and Iraq, I don't think our parties will have that much of a difference. We take great exception with the president calling for a timeline. Not that Mitt Romney's timeline would have been any different, but uh, I think you ask most respected military leaders, and they'll tell you that, that frankly, that's a political decision, not a military decision.